Oh my goodness, you hear them loud cicadas? What do you think of them? We're we gonna get them. They're everywhere though. You hunting them cicadas? Yeah. You hunting them? Some of them way too loud. Lotus loves to chase bugs, if you didn't know that somehow. Uh, but when he gets too close to the cicada and they make that little buzzy noise, he kind of like jumps back. We do a perimeter check. Look at all of the cicada shells. Or corpses or carcasses, I don't know. Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. And summer is here. People are mowing grass. Cicadas are everywhere. Pups are going pupping crazy. And what are we going to do today? Huh? we we'll do something fun? Well, we'll get out of this lawn mowing cicada mess of a noise situation and figure out what we're going to do today, boys. All right, future me here to tell you all that this video is titled about the flea and tick spray. That's not going to come until a little bit later in the video, so I'll put it up on the screen here or I'll put it down in the status bar in the chapters. If you want to jump to that section just to hear that part, you can do that. Otherwise, back to past me. You'll notice we still have the Range Rover Evoke. I'll have to take you guys for a drive in that. Um, I know I said I would talk about it. Uh, I'll probably do that on the drive. So yeah, we'll go for a drive in that, but not right now. Oh man, so happy. I got the happies. Oh my goodness. Enzo, are you just so happy now? He's just so happy. We've got them views on views. What are we gonna do with that stick? Just gonna chew it. Wow, oh, you almost whacked this. No, this is just construction. It's okay. Him, him got the scaredies, I know. Always got the scaredies. Got the braveries. Well, a little muddy, but overall not too bad. I mean, if this was just a normal day, I'd be like, nah, let's turn around. This part's really good, actually. Um, but given that they haven't had much in the last few days, figured, why not? Only live once, I know. YOLO. Wow, you're just so wiped out. Oh my goodness, how the muddies? Uh, not too bad. Yeah. Not too bad. So we got our drink, got the refreshments. No, I don't have any fruit cups. What do you think this is? Kid soccer? All right, frankly, I can't keep track of all the different rules now. I mean, if you're not vaccinated, you're supposed to wear it regardless. I obviously am vaccinated, but I mean, that's like a self right policing rule anyways. Oh my goodness. Go check that pup mailbox. Yeah. We gotta mail some, some beanies. Yep. I'm okay with being that person wearing the beanie in the summer. Gotta mail some stickers. Be right back, boys. <laughs> Pup, pup, you got that relax? Yeah. Yeah, I just had to do a little small Lowe's trip. Get the grass seed. He don't care if the car's not moving. Enzo, on the other hand. Yeah. So, pups didn't get no mail, but you did. Oh, I got mail? Yeah. Oh, wow. Who sent me mail? I don't know. That looks like it's gonna be a bug. Like a coffee cup? Could be a frisbee. Did, was it actually addressed yeah, to just me? Yeah, actually addressed to you. Well, I wonder who sent it. I don't know if maybe there'll be a card in it or something. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it. This is not pup. I mean, it, it came to their P.O. box. Fur Mama. Oh, I actually already have one that's kind of like this. Oh, yeah. That's adorable. Yeah, that but one's a different color. I'll never know who it's from. Yeah, so if you sent this, comment below. See? Oh, yeah, very similar. Yeah. It's by the same company too, I bet. Yeah. That is adorable. Yeah, I would like to know who it's from. Is it Sikit? Wow, 
loads of cool pups on there. Yeah, be cuter with some pup snacks in it. <sighs> Oh, got that rupee. You found batter? You got the no furs? Pup, pup, what are you doing? Got the hoppities? It's out here, afternoon break. Yeah. How'd that arm doing? All right, let's talk about flea and tick spray. Now, in the vlog, I couldn't really show you guys. I was gonna show you guys spraying it, um, but I mean, just think of any type of stuff you'd spray. There are instructions on it. You wanna follow the instructions very specifically. You don't wanna spray it in their eyes, in their ears, things like that. You'd wanna spray it on like a paper towel or terry cloth or whatever and get those areas. You also need to do a test, you know, put a little bit on them and wait for a little while, make sure there's no allergic reaction or anything. Uh, only gotten to use it the one time thus far, didn't get any ticks, but uh, I'll show you that little bit of footage now. It just, there was a lot going on with lawnmowers and Lotus freaking out. I'll link the stuff below if you want to try it yourself or do your own research. Like I kind of say in the vlog part, I don't really have a way to like quantitatively test is it working or not. I mean, I guess if I keep using it and we don't see any more ticks, then I could probably conclude that it's working. I doing back that pup up? Doing well? Oh, hi, sweet boy. So we're gonna try this Lee and Tick deterrent. I did a little test spot on him earlier. It seems to be fine. Lotus, buddy, why are we shaking? Why are we shaking? We don't like that lawnmower. I don't like it. Yeah, see, it's okay. All right, between the lawnmowers at the park, I wasn't able to film me spraying them down. Lotus naturally freaked out over it. And so he didn't exactly love it, but he was like, whatever. I don't know how I'll honestly be able to tell how well it's working because we go out hiking all the time and don't pick up any ticks or anything. I definitely like the idea of a deterrent being on there, especially how we've been doing a lot more hikes. Normally this type of year, we don't do this many hikes. It's normally mostly just like general parks and stuff, but trying to take it easy on the joints. We just walked through here a few minutes ago and this snake is new and we almost walked on him. Oh, uh, we've doing, been doing a lot more hikes, so this makes me feel a little bit better because I still just, I do not feel comfortable giving them a flea and tick preventative. I'd rather just be vigilant with it and give them thorough checks every time we come home or get done with the hike, as far as that goes. So, honey, I apologize if it was me. I just, I thought, wait a minute. With the air on, I still heard like a little, like yeah. a little touch, you know. Yeah. But I thought, I'm getting out and checking it out. No, I appreciate it. Yeah, and I appreciate you, honey. Well, that's what I get for taking the effort to take the car out just to run to the post office. Uh, been a hectic day, and I was like, you know what would make me feel good? Just going for a little drive, just a little short drive. You know, should have just taken your car, taken you with me. At least the person was nice enough not to run away. Oh, so the Evo got hit. I had to, like another order came in or something. I had to go to the post office again real quick. And I was like, you know, I'm just, I haven't driven the Evo in a while. I like to drive it just for little short drives. Like, try to do that once or twice, once every week or two. Yeah, I'll just run to the post office real quick. I was literally in the post office for 10 seconds. Just walked in, handed it to the counter. Normally, I would just put it in the bin outside, but it was close to closing. I wanted to make sure they didn't miss it or something. Thankfully, they did stay around. Because, like, I, I didn't even notice it. Because, I, I mean, I was literally in there so fast. So yeah, that's a little unfortunate. I'm not too worried about diminished value on the car because I do document. This is a pretty well documented car. So if I ever did go to sell it, I could be like, look, just go back and watch the vlog. You can see what was what happened. Plus, technically, that's not even the original bumper. It's a Mitsubishi OEM bumper, but it's not the US bumper, it's the Japan bumper. So technically, I have the US bumper, which coincidentally, some jerk in a BMW rear-ended and did almost the exact same thing, like some scratches. So it's got a few scratches on it too. That's how I got my JDM bumper. Anyways, I know most of you don't care about that, but some of you do. And I decided to let you guys know what was up with that. Look out for the Enzo birthday vlog. I know your birthday's coming soon. We all know this. We all know this. We all know it. Did you all know? You all knew.
Oh, that's a good boy. You know, when you need a little something distraction. He does that when he knows that, okay, I'm, I'm getting to be too much because that's what I always tell him is go get a toy. Enzo took it. You all saw it. Video proof that Enzo can steal a toy when he really wants to. He just never does it. Not just so polite most of the time. My goodness, we're going to get that birthday cake. Yeah, going to get the birthday cake. Make sure them come watch your birthday vlog coming soon. Yeah. Wifey went to a dedicated pup bakery. That's all they do is bake pup stuff. I don't know what else to say about that. All right, uh, that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. Like I said, if you wanna try either the rescue remedy or the flea and tick stuff, I will link that stuff below. I'll keep you guys updated through the summer. Also gonna do a summertime video coming up. Uh, by the time this goes up, I should have already had a summertime tips live stream. So if you wanna go back and check that out. But one of my next videos will be some tips that I do in the summertime with the pups. Uh, and this will probably start to become one of them. Anyways. And you will notice that, well, technically there's no car here, but we do have the wifey's car back. I did film a little short Range Rover Evoke drive and some crazy stuff happened with that. That'll come up in the next vlog for those of you who are interested. Otherwise, all the names you see scrolling right now of all of our Patreons that support us and our family each and every month with their donations, plus get access to the private Facebook group and the private Facebook live streams. Appreciate you guys as always. And I will see you on the next one. Bye, all. What are you looking at? There's nothing up there. Oh, you had your reasons? Okay.